Hi there babies! Today I am doing a little bit more of a dramatic video based on a personal experience that has happened to me recently and there's been a lot of drama going on about this and I really wanted to come forward and talk about it because I think it's really important. I've always been honest with you guys, I've always been transparent and I believe that this is a huge issue that needs to be addressed right now. Basically, as you all know, I bought my first silicone custom mermaid tail from Fairy Tales Bangkok. It was back in August. I ordered it in May and I got it in August. I did my live unboxing video with you guys. You saw it all. I was so excited about the tail. I was so excited. I wore it about a handful of times. Unfortunately, I got it at the end of the summer, so I didn't really get to wear it out that much, but when I did wear it, it swam beautifully. I really didn't have a lot of problems with it. I did notice that it was a little bit delicate, but you know, I told myself maybe this is just like the normal silicone thing. Like tails are fragile and this is just something that I have to keep in mind. <laughs> okay, let me fast forward to a few months. Last month or something like that, Aqua Mermaid made a video about how her tail was damaged. It was the same maker, Fairytales Bangkok. And you know, I immediately was the one of the people that obviously have not had this bad experience with him. Not like I'm an ambassador of him by any means. I just really wanted to speak my piece to that and just leave a comment. So what I did comment on her video, was that I do not believe that this was the reason why the tail was damaged. Whether it's true or not, personal experience and just speaking to other mers that own tail tails from him, this is not like something that happens. The tail does not just get like magically ripped in a postal package. Like that just doesn't happen. I'm not gonna accuse anything or like any weirdness about what's happening because I don't know what happened, but I will say that durability has never been an issue with this maker. <laughs> okay, so let's fast forward a bit more to let's say like a week ago. A post made in a mermaid tail um, forum on Facebook. There's a lot of Facebook groups about mermaid tails and mermaids reselling mermaid tails and stuff like that. Made a post about how their fairy tails um, tail got to them damaged. So this didn't look at all like Marielle's video from Aqua Mermaid, not at all. The tail was damaged around the edges because of the folding and the way it was folded into the package so there's just like little tears around the tail and it was also a different type of fluke it wasn't like a mermaid fluke it was kind of like a beta fish looking flute where it's like huge person was complaining about how it's just not a really wearable tail for that reason there's a lot of drag it's just not a good tail to wear and it doesn't seem safe in the water so anyway from that thread, I started getting talking to a few other mermaids in there because, you know, I like to say that I'm maybe one of the only people that has had a positive experience with this maker. So I went ahead and I commented and I said, like, you know, personally, I've never had issues with this maker. I know that he's been ghosting people about the weird delivery times, but that is like about the extent of the negativity I heard aside from that Aqua Mermaid video and the quality of his tails. Speaking to ambassadors, like past ambassadors of him that have owned tails for several years, they have not had that problem. So I was just like, okay, there's like some fishiness going on here. And like, I didn't have that problem. But when I was on the thread, I found out that my tail is not fully cured. What does that mean? That literally means that the maker withheld a step, a very important step, might I add, in the process of tail making where he didn't fully cure the silicone and therefore the tail is now permanently defective, which is heartbreaking. My tail, my silicone tail, my dream silicone tail is not finished. It's actually defective and it is heartbreaking to know that. Not only is that like an issue in just durability and just like the wear of the tail is going to probably deteriorate much much faster than I thought it would which also means that I'm probably going to have to buy another silicone tail which I was not planning on doing especially because this was literally my dream silicone tail not only that there is actually a toxicity issue there is a toxicity issue because when a silicone tail isn't fully cured, it can actually be toxic. This whole time I've been wearing my silicone tail, touching it with my bare hands, not even thinking twice because I trusted the maker 
that this tail is literally uncured silicone and could break off at any point. How do you know if something is uncured? This is like how I found out basically through talking through different people. I happen to know someone that is also having this problem with the same maker and she sent her tail to be inspected by another tail maker. So I plan to keep you guys updated on that as well because I would personally like to know what's going on. Okay, so they opened up her tail and inspected it. And what did they find inside? Not a real monofin, but this janky looking monofin that is like a DIY version of what a monofin should be. And I'm pretty sure I have the same one in my tail. They also said the silicone was not cured properly as confirmed in my previous clip. And unfortunately the color has to be stripped and solved down. And then if my tail is fixable, that would be amazing. I would just love to have my tail for at least a few more years, not just like one or two. Like I really want it to last. So basically what she told me and what the maker told her, like we're just like passing on notes from person to person, is that the tail could be potentially fixable by doing a force curing because it didn't fully cure the first time it was made. It should have been cured, but it wasn't. Now I'm in the situation where I have a tail that is maybe toxic. I don't really know, but the point is, I'm definitely not gonna wear it, let alone touch it until I have an answer. Because even if you touch it without gloves, there is a toxicity issue. I don't know the extent of how bad it can be. I personally haven't had any allergic reactions or rashes or anything like that wearing the tail or taking it off, but I just don't wanna risk it. It sounds really dangerous and I don't wanna risk it. <sighs> okay, so basically what happened is the tail maker messaged me with this after he saw me post on my Instagram story. I responded really quickly with this just trying to understand what he's using and he responded with this like breakdown which is not only extremely vague but also misleading because that information has already been proven wrong um and this is my final email to him basically just saying that he needs to you know find a resolution and face the music so i'm heartbroken because i've been you know singing the praises of this tail maker even after severe ghosting pattern he seems to have with like customers I was just like maybe he's just backlogged you know I like to have a positive outlook and think of the best of people try to find the best in people but in this case I don't know how far I can go in defending this tail maker anymore because if my tail is defective and I can't even wear it for a few more swims or a few more summers it's terrible like it's honestly such a horrible feeling knowing that you may have a tail that is like not only toxic but is defective how can you tell if your tail isn't cured basically after talking to a few people it's essentially the way it feels so if it has like a sticky feeling which my tail has always had and talking to other murders that have owned his tails they've also had this problem where they found it really sticky and they didn't really understand why so that's why because it's not fully cured so I literally have an unfinished silicone tail that I've been wearing and swimming and it could have been a total dangerous hazard to me. Luckily I was in a controlled environment like a swimming pool, not in the ocean or anything like that. So good thing that happened. But I would like to know if it is at least fixable in terms of just like short term fixable because if I can just force cure it and keep it for a few more summers to me, mentally that feels a little better than completely tossing out the tail. And now there's another problem that comes with this. I can't even sell the tail. Why would I sell a toxic tail to somebody else? You know what I mean? That's like just like, I can't even sell the tail. Like I have to just deal with this as if it's like my own curse, my own mistake. I'm just heartbroken. Of course, I will keep you guys updated as progress comes through. You know, I would like to think that the seller didn't did do his job and did do his due diligence but just the more things are coming out about it the more like it's unraveling to show that he is not the person that i thought he was and he is not the professional that i thought he was and was supporting if you have a tale that's from fairy tales bangkok make sure that you have some kind of like refunding insurance with paypal or something because I would not want you to go through this like I would not want you to wear a tail and then find out months after that it's 
defective and it's potentially toxic to your body. So I would definitely recommend canceling any orders you have with him until at least he comes forward and explains the situation. I've tried messaging him multiple times, got zero response. So I'm just waiting for the other tail maker at this point to inspect the tail and tell me what's up because to know that I might have to toss this tail is just like, <sighs> thinking it was like potentially just hanging it up as a prop but that just hurts my heart like it really hurts my heart because I worked so hard on making that tail me my aesthetic my color pattern Ugh. I just can't I can't so yeah not a really positive video more of a real life nightmare situation <laughs> but I hope you guys can learn from my mistakes and yeah, maybe think twice before ordering from him because there's just way too much sketchiness going on. Hi, Mare Babies. I will keep you updated, I promise. <laughs>